สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n s a Today is Monday, November 8. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by p b c p h u k e t c o m The Thailand Pass system has experienced several hiccups as it got going last week. It was meant to help tourists enter the country by making it all web-based, but several glitches following its launch has prompted officials to issue assurances that they're on top of it. A government spokesman said officials have acknowledged some issues with the system, but blame them on external interferences. Despite the Department of Consular Affairs' own Facebook page being flooded with cries for help from people still trying to register, there were also reports of a backlog of applications growing per day. The Thailand Pass system is a new web-based system for eligible visitors to apply for their entry documents prior to travel, and is a key part of the arrival process for vaccinated international tourists to enter Thailand. In addition, the anti-fake news center, the AFNC, has issued a warning that ThailandPass.org is not an official government website and is not meant to be used for applying for a Thailand Pass. The real website is on your screen. It is tp.consular.go.th. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. With more tourists expected to arrive on the island following the reopening of the country to international tourists last Monday, Phuket disaster officials are now drawing up plans to hold a public awareness campaign to help stem the expected rising number of road accidents. The campaign was decided on at a meeting of the Phuket Road Safety Committee last Thursday in Phuket Town. Of all the strategies to decide on, the committee resolved to have 17 vinyl banners printed up and distributed to the 17 local administrations and municipalities across the island to display in a prominent place in their area. Of note, just hours earlier, that same day, a driver fell asleep at the wheel and slammed his car into a street lamp at the Tarua U-turn. The accident occurred at the same location where in, on Monday, a couple from Paklok were injured when the driver of their pickup truck fell asleep at the wheel and slammed into a power pole. According to the Thai Road Safety Committee, Phuket, so far this year, even with relatively very few tourists, has recorded 62 deaths and over 10,600 people injured and 10,700 accidents across the island. Last year, Phuket recorded 106 deaths and 16,859 injuries in 16,965 accidents. Nationwide this year so far, Thailand has seen 11,131 people dead and 722,882 people injured in road accidents throughout this year. For more, visit thepukanews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Let's do the time off again. Let's do the time off again. The director of Vashira Phuket Hospital, Dr. Wirasak Longtongkam, has come forward to urge people to go ahead and live their lives normally, but remain vigilant against the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Widasak asked people to be ready for any outbreaks that may occur and specifically asked parents to have a plan ready in case their child contracts COVID-19 from school, especially since in-person classes resumed at most schools on November 1st. In a video posted over the weekend, he said, quote, Tourism resuming in Phuket was inevitable. The arrivals coming from abroad, both Thais and foreigners, have had vaccinations and swab tests before entering. The infection rate among international arrivals is only 0.3%, much less than the 5% infection rate in Phuket. And went on to say, quote, Take medicine to take care of yourself and get back to normal life. Life must go on, he said. The comments come as cases on the island continue to decline to about 50 to 60 infections per day, down from the daily average of over 130 cases in October and over 200 daily in September. Phuket recorded 65 total cases on Friday, 56 total cases on Saturday, and 49 total cases on Sunday, according to officials. Two more deaths were also recorded over the weekend. So far in November, Phuket has seen 396 total COVID-19 cases with a death toll of 5. 
Authorities officially closed the field hospital number two at Phuket Rajabai University over the weekend as the remaining two patients treated for COVID-19 infection were sent home. The field hospital at PRU opened on August 5 with 300 beds and was the second field hospital after Prince of Slonkal University was tasked with treating COVID-19 patients. The field hospital at PSU will remain open until further notice as reports say that there are still 396 active cases there. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.